Oh no, I bent it. <laughs> this video is in collaboration with LHI Productions and the Happy Mad Scientist. Some of you may have been wondering where the heck Sunshine has been for the last few months, and honestly, so have I. He just up and disappeared. One day he was here, the next day, gone. Not a note, not a word to me, nothing. He just vanished. This was around the time I posted the uh, Grim Reaper Sith video, so like, beginning of November. Um, it was about a month after that that I started getting letters. You gotta be kidding me. Eiffel Tower, weird Greek place. Is that Rome? I don't remember. I really hate that guy. What can I say? I got tired of Jake. So I uh, hitchhiked my way down to Arizona, visited the Grand Canyon. Um, then I got a job over there for a little while um, so I could keep going for longer. After that, I made my way to the coast and got passage on a uh, cargo ship over there and was able to work my way across over to Europe, landed in France. Um, more sightseeing over there. Uh, you know, the Eiffel Tower, it's kind of cool. Kind of basically just like a big uh, phone tower, but you know, Kind of cool too. Made my way down to Africa. Um, pyramids, saw some animals. You are a uh, sphinx. stupid animal. The Sahara, the desert, you know. It, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time. Great time. Like, I think it was just jealous of my trip to Kenya. Hi guys. Welcome to this episode of Sunshine Mates. Hey! Get, get out of here. That's my line. I Come do on. the intros. Loser. So here's what's going on. Two of my maker friends, Luke of LHI Productions, who I've done a couple videos with, and Josiah, the happy mad scientist, decided they were gonna do a collaboration thingamajiggery where they both made something cool out of a railroad spike. They contacted me and said, hey man, we're doing this cool collab, making something out of a railroad spike, and we would like you to join us. Because, of course, they don't get any views. So, I said, sure, why not? Sounds fun. Except I'm kind of busy. Lazy. And I've been, uh, kept them waiting for like three months now. But then Sunshine showed back up suddenly and gave me a just brilliant idea. Basically how this works is Jake's too lazy to build it himself, so instead he's having me do it, which Normally it would make me mad, but if we're being honest, given enough cheese puffs, there's nothing I won't do. Is this the entire script? Yes. Wait, I have to draw the design for this thing? Yep. So I might maybe sort of suck at drawing, so instead of that, I'm going to spend two days 3D modeling it in Blender. So here's the finished render. Man, that is cool. So fancy. Way better than one of Jake's two-dimensional drawings. <laughs> Why does Jake never do a transition like that? Kinda cool. This is a high carbon railroad spike. I know that because it has a HC on the back. Man, this camera's got a nice autofocus. Look at that. Not that I know anything about railroad spikes, but I, uh, asked Jake and he didn't tell me anything so then I went and watched a couple videos he has on uh, his stupid YouTube channel about how to forge stuff out of a railroad spike and that was actually um, helpful. So somehow 
I've got to use the forge to turn this thing into a long spike. Do I know how? No, I don't know how. Should probably turn the forge on. I got this, I got this glove. Don't want to burn my handsies. Now. Holy smokes! That's awesome! That's terrifying. I think this is gonna take a while. This thing is getting really close to being finished. I'm hoping to get a 22 to 24 inch long blade because that's a good sword length. Although if it ends up just being this long, it's not gonna be too bad. And mainly I'm just working on thinning it down and uh, making it a little bit longer. Okay, now the forging is finished, clearly. So now I believe the next thing to do is go inside, like grind on it and clean it up a little bit and get it straight and polished and whatever else we're gonna do to, uh, you know, make it more pointy and more perfect for a sword. All right. Hey, you finally finished that thing up, huh? Yeah, it's done all rough forged and everything. You better not use up all my propane. You, you told me to make this. Well, I didn't tell you to take all day. You didn't tell me not to take all day, first of all. And, well, then you told me to make it. You didn't give me any help. You didn't tell me how to make it. You just told me to make it. Asked. What? I didn't tell you to make the sword cane. I asked you to make the sword cane. You voluntarily but, said you would. But asked forcibly. Did you use up all my propane? Does it matter? Yes. I finished the spike. Did you use up all my propane? Like you wanted me to. Did you use up all the propane? You told me to do it. Did you? I use my up propane. Did it. Is it and I did really or is it not? Good job if I do say so myself. All right. If you need that. Take it. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Did you use all of the propane? No, no, we got plenty left actually. Cool. <laughs> then I will start grinding. So basically, we have us a rapier spike thingy. 
Sunshine went ahead and put a tip on the thing a minute ago. Um, if it'll focus there. Now, something I've learned that is key for knife making and stuff is making sure to have the right grit belts for your belt sanders. Now, I'm still using uh, this really small 1x30 Harbor Freight Special belt sander grinder. Costs 40 bucks at Harbor Freight. I would recommend all of you go get yourself one for the price. It's unbeatable. It's still working. I've made all kinds of stuff with it. Only problem is it's low powered. It's only like one third horsepower or HP or whatever. I'm at the point now where I really want to upgrade, but I don't have the money right now, so we're still using this. But you want to get you everything from 30 grit belts all the way up to 2,000 grit belts. That will allow you to, just by putting on a new belt, go all the way up without having to switch to hand sanding, which takes a lot longer. It really helps with efficiency and getting stuff done faster. Oh no! I forgot to do the materials at the beginning of this video. What a tragedy. Three quarter inch copper pipe. Three quarter inch copper pipe T fitting. Three more copper pipe fitting is that are three quarter inches. A weird black rubber stopper thingy. A railroad spike for the handle. A bunch of scrap leather. A random board piece of hardwood. And a completely unforged, unfinished second railroad spike that will be turned into a blade. Definitely not already turned into a blade because I forgot to film this earlier. Let's clean up this railroad spike. That is beautiful. So for the handle, the railroad spike is go supposed to go through this copper T-fitting. Problemo is it's close, but not quite, as you can see. So I'm gonna just hammer on it. Copper is supposed to be soft, right? All right, bigger hammer. That'll do it. That'll do it. For the thingy that goes on the bottom of the cane, we're gonna take that rubber stopper thingamajiggery doodah and put it into this uh, copper pipe coupling. And then we're gonna drill a hole through it and stick a pin through it to keep the rubber thingy in the other thingy on the bottom of the cane thingy. I've got it laid out now and I've been doing a little bit of measuring. I'm gonna make this cane about 36 inches long because that seems to be the correct um, height for a person my size. And judging by this, we're going to need the wood handle section to be roughly 12 inches long. I did this in a really stupid way. I should have just left it the uh, spike part and gotten rid of this altogether. Now we need to carve this out and that will be a pain. I think we're now at the point where we can heat treat this blade. We've lost some oil, so it's not gonna get the whole blade. We're only gonna be able to harden it about to here. I should probably get more oil, but I don't want to. Ah, it's That was terrifying. So I have good news and bad news. Good news is it's quenched. Bad news is it kind of resembles an S. See how it's curved like that? Yeah. Maybe if I tried really, really hard, I could fix that, but I'd have to requench it and I don't feel like it. So it's uh, gonna be a little bit crooked. Awesome. This looks terrible. <laughs> and y'all think I'm lazy. 
Ha! If any of you are wondering, I instructed him not to temper this thing and just to leave it with the, uh, leave it at the quench. Um, because it shouldn't need it, railroad spikes are only about 0.30% carbon content, which means it shouldn't get hard and brittle enough with an oil quench like he just did. So, it should be hard enough, but still soft enough, right out of the quench, so we don't need to temper it. It's glue up time, baby. That sounded weird. Just gonna use all of this epoxy, I think. Probably shouldn't have used all of that epoxy. That's way too much. Now we wait for like 24 hours. Definitely not cutting it with the blade toward me. I would uh, be impaled. And that would stink. Now we just gotta keep working it and working it and working it, little bit at a time, until this can slide right over it. The entire cane needs to be 36 inches in length. It starts here, stops there, make a mark. Okay, so this out. Then we have this straight coupling, which I'm gonna slide over the top and over the top all the way up. Then we have the coupling that breaks in the middle with a divider in the middle, and that goes right there. It's a little bit loose, so if you shake it real hard, you can hear the blade flopping around in there. That is unacceptable. No tingling. I think a lot of people have this notion about wood, or at least I did, that the top coat finish is what gives it that smooth or glossy feel and look to it. That's actually not true. That's just a matter of how fine the top of it is. Cause like if you use like boiled linseed oil or something, it will not give it a smooth glossy finish like polyurethane will. It'll only seal the wood. The key is just to go over it with some really high grit sandpaper. See how smooth and beautiful that is right there? There's no finish on this handle. For the finisher, I'm gonna use boiled linseed oil because I kind of like the way it smells. Y'all know not to throw a bunch of rags of this stuff in the trash, right? It will spontaneously combust if there's enough of it. I'm also gonna put it on the railroad spike as well because it will also protect the metal. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have a finished sword cane. Ow. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this wet. Tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell him run it off. I wake up, flex, I'm down that check. No drip this wet. Tell him run it off. No sleep, no rest. Might crash, might wreck. But first die, stretch. Tell him run it off. Nine out of ten, roll through my hands, I'm by my lonely. Turn to a savage, now my baby wants to hold me. I love my fans, don't need no friends, I got my homies. Thought I could trust you, I find out you tried to zone me.
Oh no, I bent it. <laughs> Remember my heat treat didn't extend that low? Note to self, next time you heat treat a sword, make sure it gets heat treated all the way down. Okay, we're good. It's a stabbing sword anyway. Well, besides all the stuff he did wrong, I think Sunshine didn't do a terrible job on this. I decided to name him Black Bobby, or Bob, Black Bob, or just Bob. I would highly encourage you to go check out Luke and Josiah's videos. All three of us, of course, made something awesome out of a railroad spike. Luke made this tomahawk thingamajiggy, and Josiah made a percussion cap pistol. A little unfair. I want a lathe. The tool recommendation for this week are these stylish safety glasses, because Jake really likes them. They are stylish, they will keep your eyes safe, and most importantly, they don't look completely stupid. A link is in the description below if you would like to get yourself some. End of tool recommendation for today. This thing is awesome. We can both agree on that. Yes. Well. Well, ugh, I got cheese puffs to eat. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this episode of Jake Makes. See you in the next one. Jake out.